Yes, a nice shirt. Mm, not bad. Look even better on a man. Funny how a girl of 15 knows how to iron a shirt, and a man of nearly 40 don't. That's because you've got nothing better to do today, right? That's because you're moving out and taking a room, innit? Well, come on, Dad, that's the truth. Just remember who you are, young lady. We must be mad. Why? Well, look at us. Look, he is telling the truth, isn't he, Mum? What about babes? Well, this room he's moving into. He's not moving in with her, is he? No. No, he's telling the truth. Yeah. He better be. Right, Mum, I'm off out. Shall? Well, try and be around as much as you can today, eh? Why? Well, your dad's not going to be staying here tonight, is he? Don't give a toss where these days are goes. And if you really did, you'd keep him locked away in his bedroom. But be your age, Mum. That's a nice way to talk to your old mum, isn't it? Well, no one's dropped dead, have they? There's been no outbreak of the bubonic plague. So what am I supposed to do while you sit here like little orphan Annie? You heartless little cow. If I did have strength, I'd put you over me knee and give you a good hiding. But you haven't, have you? Hey. Here! Oh, oh, what's where you're going, miss? What's up with her? She's meeting a bloke from a dating agency. Oh, Betty, she's that lonesome. Why don't she get herself a pet? Because she's a very attractive woman, that's why. My Willy isn't a substitute for a man. He's just a dog. And I love him for being a dog. Open that door. Yeah. Ah. Right, come on in, Sharon, and you come. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear. Uh, Mehmet. Mehmet, happy birthday to you. That's it? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Look out, terrific. Brilliant. Practice on me any time, Sharon. Yeah, unless you know the words, eh? Well, I hope he's a good looker. Well, that's all settled, then. What about the clothes, though? Well, a man wanted a sexy gram, you know, something to turn the old blokes on a bit. They'd get turned on by anything. Yeah, you need something sweet and innocent, like a uh, school tie and fishnets, eh? Mm. Right, everyone sit down. I thought it was going home. No one's going home until we get this little lot sorted out. All right, Annie, just because the surprise is a bit of a surprise, all right? Surprise? I could hardly believe my eyes. There we were, sitting round a table, good food, great atmosphere, me old family. And the old man helps out in the kitchen. Ali, will you please stop walking up and down? I think I'm going to throw no, up. No one's asking you your opinion. It's one thing to decide to have a bit of fun, but when she walks in half naked and starts making a fool of herself, I mean, look at you. Well, it should look great before you started with all that come on, we're going home bit. Good God, Sharon, you can't even sing in tune. Yes, I can. She yeah. can. So, if you sit sitting there, it's enough to make Barbara Streisand go wonky. I thought, all right, Wally. Well, she did it beautifully in rehearsals. Yeah, it's very artistic. I've a good mind to tell your father. Oh, give us a break. If he could see you now. Look, it's your dad's idea to have a sexy gram, not ours. Where did you get those clothes? <laughs> Maybe won't be him. I don't want to drag him to it because she's my mate. <sighs> Look, Annie, we're sorry we spoke the party for you. The yeah. fact that me and Sue were looking forward to this and we had to leave early, we'll forget. The fact that we owe you 30 quid, we'll also forget. Agreed? <sighs> And I suggest if you want to continue in this line of business, you stick to bellboys, gorillas, and nuns. Do what? And now I'll walk you home. I've gone the Come on, Sharon, come on. Yeah. You're late. Look, is anyone around? Your dad's uh, out. Oh, thank God for that. Look, I'll see you next week. Right, hang on, go into her first, all right? Right, bye. See ya.